Happy Friday Eve. It's Thursday. My Young and the Restless fans, hopefully you're having a terrific one. We are inching closer and closer to the end of the week. We got more crazy drama in the Genoa City. I'm going to give you a few highlights and then we'll unpack this episode. First, we see Ashley going back and forth between her altars. She also collapses. Sharon is called in. Billy admits to having DID and Summer urges Kyle to show and prove for co-CEO or just quit Jabot. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and unpack this Genoa City drama for April 11th. So let's start off with the tumultuous events going on over at the Abbott Estate. First, we got Jack as being steadfast in his belief that Ashley needed their support, urging her to stay. While Ashley, yeah, she's feeling trapped and misunderstood, demanded to be set free. We got a clash of wills going on over at the Abbott Estate as Ashley's desperate pleas, yeah, it fell on deaf ears. Her family is convinced that they're acting in her best interest. Now, as Ashley's internal struggle intensify, so did the rift between her and her siblings. Tracy torn between her loyalty to her sister and her desire to see her receive the help that she needed, found herself caught in the crossfire of family discord. Now, meanwhile, Jack, trying to be the problem solver, reached out to an unlikely ally in the form of Sharon, seeking her expertise in navigating all of the complexities of Ashley's condition. Now, despite Ashley disdain for Sharon's involvement, Jack remains steadfast in his belief that an outside perspective could share some light on this situation. Now, Ashley is spinning out of control. She found herself confronting her own demons, struggling to make sense of all the chaos consuming in her mind. With each passing moment, the line between reality and illusion is blurred, leaving Ashley grasping for a lifeline in a sea of uncertainty. Downstairs, as the Abbott family gathered to confront the truth of Ashley's condition, Billy now stepped forward with the revelation of his own, sharing his own DID struggles with dissociative identity disorder. His words struck a chord with the family and prompting them to consider that the possibility that Ashley's behavior was symptomatic of a deeper psychological issue. And I was wondering when they were going to bring this up about Billy. Now, with Sharon's guidance, the Abbots embarked on a journey trying to discover what to do next and is the determined to unravel all of the mystery that's going on in Ashley's mind, even though we see every bit of it where we have Ash, Ashley, and Mrs. Abbott. And hopefully they'll help help her find the peace that she so desperately needs to have right now. Elsewhere over at the Jazz Lounge, we got Kyle and Summer finding themselves locked in their own battle of wills as Kyle grappled with the burden of his mother's failings. And Summer tried to offer a voice of reason in the midst of their chaos. Now, they had a conversation with a little bit of tension and unresolved emotions because the conversation started off about none other than Claire. Now, as much as Summer does not like where she's getting this whole redemption tour with her family, on the flip side, Kyle is willing to give her some consideration as the fact that, you know, learning about her past, well, Summer's not ready to give, and she said, look, I'll have to co-sign on Harrison having a nanny, and yeah, I'm not doing it. At the same time, she also tells Kyle, look, I understand that you don't want to hurt your mom's feelings, and Jack want to keep things the way that they are. Either go ahead, show and prove that you can be this co-CEO, or maybe you should just quit Jabot. Okay, so there you have it. Let's get the conversation started down in the comment section. What do you think about what Summer was telling Kyle? That if he don't want to keep going back and forth between Jack and Diane and her having that position... Yeah, maybe he should show and prove that he can be the co-CEO, especially since he's done it before. Or should he just leave Jabot? And then what about Ashley? I mean, she was going back and forth between her altars. Ash is trying her best to conserve Ashley, where Mrs. Abbott is trying to destroy not only Tucker, but Ashley and Ash as well. 
What did you also think about Billy bringing up his DID situation? I was wondering if the writers were going to actually add this. And with all of this going on, we have yet to see Abby. Let me know your thoughts. Also, make sure you check out the bold and the beautiful recap for today. Luna is grappling with the decision to confess her night with Zenday to RJ. And Deacon unloads his torment onto Ridge, leading into a whole dramatic confrontation. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you're notified every time a video is posted. And until the next one, we'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.